How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today, guys, we're going to do another movie review. The movie is Monster Squad, and it came out in 1987. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably my first time watching this movie. Number one, I don't know why. Number two, I don't know if I ever heard of it, to be honest. Number three, uh, even if I had heard of it, and even if I had heard of it back in 1987, I don't know if I'd have still watched it, because, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the old classic monster movie uh, icons, such as your Dracula, and your Frankenstein's monster, and your werewolf, and your mummy, and your... Gill Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Swamp Thing, Creature Looking Thing. I'm not a big fan of all that. Not that I hate it, just not a huge fan. But today, guys, I finally watched it. Just got done, literally, minutes ago. Set up my camera and got this going. So we're going to go over a few things here. Yes, I do use my handy dandy trusty notes, as usual. If you've seen my other reviews, you know these things. Nothing new. I have some things wrote down, and I hope I touch on things like I'm wanting. So the basic story is Count Dracula and his monster friends are out in search for a magical amulet that will help them to rule the world. But a group of young kids stand in the way. They are the Monster Squad. Yes, they are the Monster Squad. Guys, let's go over a few of the casts and characters. Now, I am going to butcher the names. I always butcher the names. That's my thing. Uh, if someone had to uh, describe me as a movie reviewer, they'd say the guy that butchers the names. That's me. So, here we go. I'm going to give it my best. We have Andre... Gower as Sean. We have Robbie Kiger as Patrick. Uh, we have Duncan, 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 Reggaer as Count Dracula. We have Tom Noonan as Frankenstein's monster. We have Carl Thibau as Wolfman. We have Michael Reed Mackey as the mummy and we have Tom Woodruff Jr. as whatever you want to look at him as Gilman, Creature from the Black Lagoon or Swamp Thing I don't know I got all three of them different names from different sources describing this guy in the movie so there you go we also have uh, Jason Harvey in this movie. If you know him, he plays the butthead brother on the Wonder Years TV show. Well, he plays a butthead in this movie as well. And we also have John Grease or John Grise or whatever. He, if you know, plays Uncle Rico on Napoleon Dynamite and also John Workman on uh, the TV show Lost. Of course, Workman is not his real last name on the show. Anyhow, that's our cast of characters. There are more, but that's your main guys, so I'm sticking to it. And that's that. So let's go over the acting. As far as the acting goes, overall, it's fine. Nobody stood out as bad or out of place. However, Sean's dad is one of those really over-the-top performers, uh, but that's okay. I assume he's just very passionate about his work and really likes to be a little bit extra when he's acting. Otherwise, everything is pretty decent. Everyone seems to hold their own. No one really stands out too much. Uh, Dracula, however, uh, the guy that plays... Dracula, 
uh, Duncan Rigaher here. Uh, he actually does pretty well. I mean, they all do pretty well, but he does pretty well. He has a couple of little moments in there where it's like, oh, pretty cool. Okay. Nothing too over the top. Nothing too great and stand out, standout-ish. Uh, he's not going to be your favorite Dracula of all time. But there are a couple of moments in there that are pretty cool. Uh, the, the movie starts out uh, with a cool vision of Dracula's castle. Uh, it actually looked great. But then it soon kind of all falls side to just normal streets and small town settings, which uh, are okay, I guess, for the uh, you know uh, the setting in which the movie takes place. But you know, it, it kind of goes from this Van Helsing, you know, and Dracula's castle, hundred to two hundred whatever years ago, to you know this. So. Eh, you know, nothing, nothing uh, super spectacular as far as the settings and, and all that stuff goes. Uh, the visuals, uh, the visuals were okay on the practical side. Uh, on the uh, CGI side, though, it was a little bit, eh. You know, we're talking 1987 and what they could do for probably their budget. You know, it, it was probably okay for their budget, but uh, they they are dated, but it's expected, especially with that you know their budget. Um, for me, the monster designs were great. I'm not a big fanboy, like I said, of old monster movies, uh, but I feel they did a good job at keeping them uh, looking authentic and old style uh, in appearance. Uh, from from uh, my point of view, from what I've seen and just from what I've known of the old style monster movies. You do get a classic 80s montage moment in this movie. You know how they go where, some, you know, everybody gets together and the music starts and they're doing a... Uh, a makeover on some guy or some girl or they're doing a makeover on a home or they're doing a makeover on a car something's going on in the 80s uh, to where every movie just about has some sort of a musical montage this movie has one as well I won't give it away but there is one in there so it's cute I guess I'm going to kind of wrap things up here. Uh, let's not forget Wolfman's Got Nards. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this movie. Uh, overall, it's okay. Uh, some people are going to put it on the on the same kind of uh, genre or whatever as like the Goonies or Stand By Me or, or some other... Uh, like 80s kind of kids growing up type movies or what have you but for me this movie is nowhere near Goonies quality or Stand By Me or any of that other stuff that I can't even think of right now it's not on that level it's okay enough um, I've seen way worse I've seen way better just like with a lot of movies um, it's kind of forgettable. There's nothing really in there that stands out except for Wolfman has nards or Wolfman's got nards, whatever the line was. Wolfman's got nards. I mean, that's probably the only line from the movie that anyone knows. So, uh, it's okay. Are you, are you going to regret watching it? No, you're not. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. For me, it's probably a one and done Unless it's just on in the background somewhere, happens to be on. Uh, I'm probably never going to actually intentionally watch it again. It is what it is. Uh, having said that, I've watched The Goonies probably 500 times. So, you can kind of see uh, the difference. Now, perhaps if you're into the old monster movies, this might blow you away. And it might be your Goonies. You know, it might be your standard for that kind of movie. So it's it's all an individual kind of preference, but for me it's probably a one and done. Uh, again, the movie wasn't horrible. 
to give it a score, to give it a grade, one being horrible, ten being, oh my god, this is amazing, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 5. I'm only going to give it a 5. Uh, which isn't bad. It's right in the middle. Uh, I, I recommend if you like that kind of stuff. If you like the Goonies mixed with old monster creature movies. Go for it. So guys. That's my review of the Monster Squad. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out all my other reviews or all my other videos that I have out there. I do them for free, for fun, for myself, for you. Uh, I hope that they give you some sort of enjoyment. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. Even when kicking Wolfman in the nards. See y'all later.